Well, divorce and death, not your typical subjects for ballet, but Texas Ballet Theater is up for the challenge this weekend with the world premiere of Henry VIII. It's part of a double bill ballet and here to tell us all about it, choreographer Carl Comer and dancer Michelle Taylor. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank Super you. Super exciting content for a ballet. Kind of walk us through Henry VIII, not the most beloved <laughs> king of all time. Uh, yeah, it was, I think it's a really interesting story. Mm -hmm. I think it's very popular with shows like The Tudors and Wolf Hall, and people like to see that, I think. It's kind of interesting in all of the different wives. We're going to get to that a little bit later, but just more from you, Carl. Have you choreographed, uh, choreographed excuse me, other ballets? Uh, you're a member of the company. Yeah, um, I'm still dancing, trying to. <laughs> um, but I'd, I've choreographed a couple of pieces now for the company, but this is really my first kind of big one-act story ballet. Uh, in the past, I've done kind of 20-minute, kind of more contemporary uh -huh. pieces. Well, this is really exciting because I, th I think about Netflix, I think about uh, cable TV, and all the hype is about the royals. And so to bring that in this artistic expression, how does the dance uniquely tell this kind of a horror story? You may have it. Um, I think the, the music, for me, really tells the story mm -hmm. in this. I'm using Gustav Holst's The Planets, and um, there's seven pieces of music, and there's six wives, so it leaves one left over. Yes. And each each piece of music has a totally different personality, um, just like Henry's wives do, so um, that, that helps tell it. That's interesting. So, Michelle, you have to tell us which one of the wives do you play? <laughs> I play Catherine of Aragon. Very dramatic role, so I love it. That is pretty cool. The first wife here, and she was kind of a cold fish. They made it seem from history, I said it. I don't know, right? Well, she's actually very well liked uh, throughout England. They but loved Henry her. But Henry didn't seem to like her. She was too... Prude well, or she something, also right? had. I mean, she had six miscarriages, oh, so mm -hmm. he wasn't very happy with that. So <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't happy with much. But what's it like to be the first to present this ballet? I mean, such an awesome concept. Carl, Michelle, I, I mean, yeah. the fact that it's a world premiere, I think, is very exciting. It's also very exciting for the dancers, just to be able to perform another piece of Carl's is just. Uh, great for all of us and we're so happy for him and excited and honored really. I just think it's awesome. I mean just looking through everything and, and the different wives are going to be depicted. I think that's kind of fun especially for young girls like looking and everybody's so pretty. <laughs> I'm just curious how you're going to portray those scenes where everybody's losing their head pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure in the most beautiful artistic <laughs> way possible. <laughs> but this is a double bill Carl. Uh, what does that mean? What are we going to see? We've got Henry VIII and what else? And um, Also on the program is Ratmansky's Seven Sonatas. Mm. Um, which is, he's a well-known choreographer from ABT, and um, it's a big honor to have one of his pieces be danced by a company. Well, thank you so much, Carl, for uh, joining us. Hey, thank you welcome. so much, and Michelle, thank you. I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to it, especially with that beautiful costume you have on there. So Absolutely excited, can't stunning. Wait. You can see Henry VIII together with seven sonatas at Fort Worth's Bass Hall this Friday through Sunday, March 2nd through 4th. For ticket information, go to TexasBalletTheater.org. We're going to send things over to Greg for a final look at your forecast. Yeah.